I'm Richard Roper. Coming up next, Jason Bateman, Jason Sudeikis, and Charlie Day reunited for the sequel somebody wanted. It's my review of Horrible Bosses 2 right now. Horrible Bosses 2 is so lazy it's not even about horrible bosses. Yes, the employers played by Kevin Spacey and Jennifer Aniston do return, but they're wasted. I'm just going to visit the men's room real quick. You're welcome to do that on me. Oh, uh, well, it's a, uh, it's a... Uh... And? Aniston's role as a sex-addicted dentist is particularly embarrassing. Just because you're willing to say the most demeaning, vulgar lines doesn't make it funny. The sequel is actually a slapstick kidnapping yarn. Jason Bateman's Nick, Jason Sudeikis' Kurt, and Charlie Day's Dale are plotting revenge against Christoph Waltz's evil business kingpin, Bert Hansen, after he steals their stupid idea for a device called the Shower Buddy. Listen, bucko, you don't want to make enemies out of us. Oh, easy. I didn't walk all up on you. I make new enemies every day. I've liked Chris Pine in other roles, but he flounders here trying way too hard as Bert's son Rex. Huh? No, 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 it's on. No, it's off. No, it's totally on. I sent the ransom note to my dad. Now, in fairness to Pine, he's stuck playing a racist, vile, spoiled jerk. Another major problem with these horrible bosses movies is Day and Sudeikis are basically playing variations on incredible dimwits, while Bateman is only slightly smarter. He's at the top of his game. We need to figure out... Boy, look what we got. Is that a Sharpie? Writer-director Sean Anders makes things worse with juvenile sight gags and lots of scenes where yelling seems to be the main ingredient. You're all morons! Boy, he shined a light on that, didn't he? Every once in a while, there was a kind of inspired montage, and there were some one-liners that did make me laugh. But how can you have the great Christoph Waltz playing a villain in a comedy and you get almost nothing out of it? Not to mention Jamie Foxx's phone it in return as Mother Bleeper Jones. As the credits roll on Horrible Bosses 2 and A Grateful Nation moves on, we get a blooper reel. Nine times out of ten, that's a sure sign the movie you just saw was, well, mostly horrible. My grade for this one, D+. I'm Richard Roper. Get all my reviews at richardroper.com and at reels.com.